Hey, it's Angie with Eat, Learn, Love. Welcome back to my channel. For those of you that don't know me, I'm a wife and a mom of five, and we're doing all kinds of cool things this and summer. And I'm one of the five. <laughs> He's number five. Today we're doing a video on our griddle cooking. We have a um, blue rhino razor griddle and my husband is outside. Now we're doing steaks, um, the mini potatoes or baby potatoes, I don't know what they're called, um, chunks and some asparagus. So I'm just gonna show you clips or videos and maybe with voiceovers on how we're doing all the food. These are sirloin fillets. We have six of them. There's six of us tonight and we're going to sear them for um, six to seven minutes on each side and then we're going to cover them with a foil pan to kind of do that baking effect to it. Um, and then we have some potato cube chunks and some asparagus. Um, and we have some onions for those of us that want some little griddled onions on top and some butter. I heard adding a little slab of butter on top uh, is good for finishing off the steak. Okay, so we seared the steaks on both sides and then moved them off the searing burner onto here. This burner was on, we went ahead and turned it off and threw a dab of butter on each steak and then the foil over it. So they're gonna cook on the, it's turned off but it's still very hot, under the foil. And then we have the potato chunks that are cooking. Then we're gonna add the asparagus over to the searing side, we add more oil. And they should all finish up about the same time. The steaks came out delicious. Some of us have gouda on the top of ours. Some have blue cheese. We caramelized some onions on the one. Buddy's got a giant chunk of cheese on his potatoes. Potatoes are crispy on the outside, soft on the inside. We put parmesan on top. Same with the asparagus. It's crispy but soft, <laughs> if that makes sense. Onions. And then we sprinkled parmesan cheese on that at the end as well. So it turned out delicious and still loving the griddle. Right, love? So you saw us grill, or griddle, grill on the griddle? I don't know how you say it. Um, and so I'm just gonna recap because there's a lot of sound and noise and music and a lot of things happening. But we had filet um, steaks, top sirloin filet steaks, whatever they're called. And we um, seared them about six minutes on each side. And then we took them off the searing burner and put them in the middle. And we originally turned the burner off because it was already very hot. And we put um, a small pad of butter on each steak and then covered it with a foil pan to do kind of like a baking thing. But after we checked the temp, we realized it wasn't um, maintaining the heat very well. It's probably because it's outside and so the breeze and whatnot cool it down. So we turned the burner back on to a low and let them cook the rest of the way, probably another eight to 10 minutes. Um, and we eat our steaks well done. So we stopped it at 165 degrees and took them off the burner and onto a plate to let them rest for a bit. And then I topped a couple with blue cheese and let that melt. I kind of did a foil tent over it to help melt the cheese while the steaks are resting. And then I put Gouda on a couple. Some of us don't like um, blue cheese, so I did Gouda. And then we topped it with the caramelized onions. Um, the potatoes we cooked on kind of like a medium, medium high heat to get kind of like a crispy on the outside, soft on the inside, um, like a hash run, but bigger version. version. And then um, all I did with that was put some <clears throat> olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder, and parsley on the, to season them beforehand. And then we put them on the hot oil griddle and cooked them up. And then we let those cook the whole time since they take the longest because they're denser. Um, so that probably took uh, almost 20 minutes. Um, and then the asparagus we put on at the very end just for a max of four or five minutes. And those were those were pretty tender. Um, I would have had mine a little country, but con sorry, crunchier. I can't speak. Um, but most everybody else likes it pretty tender here. And then I put the potatoes and the asparagus on the same in the same foil pan and topped it with Parmesan cheese to melt and then covered it with foil and brought it inside. And then we let the steaks rest and then we ate it with apple slices. So everything turned out great. The steaks were tender and delicious. Um, and then we kind of dipped the steaks in the butter sauce that was left at the bottom of the plate after we put them on everybody's individual plates. 
So it turned out really great. So that again, that's the Blue Rhino Razor Griddle. And um, I'll link below to the filet video that I used for tips. And um, I don't think I have any recipes to link to. But if you like these kinds of videos, cool. Hit like, subscribe so you can keep up with us. Um, and if you have a griddle and you use it and you love some recipes, feel free to share in the comments below um, so that we can, um, I would love to have some new recipes to try out. So we'll see you next time.